don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. Oh, what is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cop 360 here. We've got some big news on the green team now, of course, according to techfrag.com. The NVIDIA based GP100 GPU, otherwise known as Big Daddy Pascal, man, Big Daddy Pascal. It's launching in April 2016, so in around two and a half months' time. Now, of course, GP100 is essentially the Pascal card. Oh, sorry, I fucked that up. Not the Pascal card, the Titan card. Now, we're not going to be seeing, you know, the 1080 Ti until after GP104 or the 1080 launches. We're not going to be seeing the Ti version of that until later. That will also be based on GP100, just like GM200, GK110, whatever, whatever, whatever. But let's get back to the point. Now, of course, this Big Daddy Pascal, this GP100, this Titan card, it's going to have a lot of VRAM, probably HBM, hopefully it has HBM. If it doesn't, that would be quite disappointing. And it's going to perform um, well, I guess, in single position performance. Now, of course, the big question that we all want to know is, is NVIDIA going back to its roots? Because look, when we had the original Titan, back on Kepler, we had, you know, the Titan 1. I'll just say Titan 1 to make it easier for you guys. And then the second generation Titan Black. When we had those two cards, they were very, very good in double precision performance in FP64 based workloads. They were very good in workstation style scenarios. Now, of course, when Nvidia decided to come out with the Titan X, they were like, nah, sorry, um, single precision performance is more important. So, of course, the Titan lost one of its main um, selling points. It was a pretty much a cheap. Quadro in a sense, of course, it's nowhere near as good as a Quadro, but it acted in a way as a cheap Quadro. And when I say cheap, of course, it's still a thousand dollars, but it was good in that sense. But then it was lost with the GTX Titan X, so that's why you see, for example, Linus from Linus Tech Tips, all these workstation boys, all these workers who have the workstation rigs, they're still using Titan Blacks. I'm, I believe they might have replaced them by now, I'm sure. But for a long time, they were using Titan Blacks, even though the Titan Xs were out, or even though, you know, the 980 Ti's or whatever, better cards were out for what they were trying to do. Now, of course, the 980 Ti probably wouldn't have been better because it didn't have the VRAM of a Titan Black, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I mean? So, look, hopefully, hopefully Nvidia comes up with this GP100, with this new Titan. Who knows what they're going to call it? Titan White, Titan Red. Um, Titan, no Titan, they can't call it Titan X, obviously, I don't know, it's Titan something, maybe Big Daddy Titan, they should call it Big Daddy Titan, um, but BDT, that'd be a sick name, but anyway, um, hopefully, hopefully, they bring back the FP64 based performance, because that would, uh, bring back, or bring up another selling point for these cards, otherwise it's useless. Why would you buy a Titan? I mean, NVIDIA's just gonna come out with the 1080 Ti, um, and it's gonna have, like, half the VRAM, but that's still going to be a lot of VRAM. I mean, what? I believe the Titan X, was it 12 gigs of VRAM it had? I'm pretty sure it had 12, and then you had the 980i, which had 6. So it still had a lot of VRAM. Now, of course, 6 gigabytes of VRAM does sound like a lot. So I'm going to look up 980ti VRAM on Google just in case I'm retarded. Please tell me it was 6. Please tell me it was 6. Yes, it was 6. I'm right. I was just making sure. I kind of needed to question myself a bit there. But yeah. And the time next did have talking gigs of VRAM. So look, guys. I don't know. Let's just hope that we get something good out of NVIDIA with this card. Pascal, there's got a lot of hype to it, as I've said before. A lot of hype on the AMD side as well with Polaris. And of course, this report does also say that in June, we will be seeing the GTX 1080 based on GP1. 04 and of course we'll see the cut down 1070 on GP 104 as well of course you're gonna have SMX is disabled CUDA cores disabled you know the typical stuff um it's just usual it's what you get every year so hopefully this turns out to be a great year hopefully Nvidia kicks off well with a good performing card a good Titan going back to its roots but I don't know one can only hope so look guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and look the big K we'll see you later Peace, boys.